and happy Sunday. It is just coming up for half past five on Sunday. No, I read that completely wrong. It's five o'clock. <laughs> I'm just running a bath and I spent most of the day editing to make sure I got my knitting and crochet podcast up on my other channel on Little Drops of Wonderful. And today is my mum's birthday. So I took her for lunch and that was lovely. Not long back actually, we, had, we, we booked for a late lunch at three o'clock, so I'm just back. I'm feeling very, very full up indeed, but it was delicious. We just went to a harvester, yes. which is something we don't offer. Wow, absolutely gigantic bumblebee just flew around the window. It was almost as big as a small bird. Oh, it's gone now, otherwise I would film it. But yes, yeah, so we had a lovely uh, late lunch and I'm very full up and I'm now going to have a long awaited hot bath. I'm going to take my iPad and finish editing today's vlog and I'm really looking forward to it. I've still got a ton of stuff here from the party last night to clear up. I haven't done that, haven't had a chance but I've got the rest of today after my bath because um, I don't have to do dinner now because I'm full up and tomorrow morning uh, we're going into london tomorrow afternoon we've got tickets at two o'clock to go and see the cute exhibition at somerset house uh it's um organized by the makers or the, the people behind hello kitty i think it's their 50th year anniversary and it's a celebration of like the all things cute it's a little bit more than that but uh i want to go a because it really looks like it's up um, both my girls street and also the museum where I work has lent a couple of um, pieces of art to the exhibition as well so it'd be really nice to see those in the exhibition I've now said exhibition too many times so right now I'm going to go and get in the bath it's going to be I don't know what this vlog's going to be because I've only just picked the camera up at five o'clock but I think what I might do if I get the time and energy is sit down and go through comments and maybe respond to comments and answer some questions because I've been wanting to do that for a couple of days. Uh, yeah, right, see you shortly. Oh, hello, I'm post bath, slightly damp, wet hair, slightly pink in the cheeks. It's quarter to eight. Uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a weekend. I'm having the Prosecco that I didn't have last night. And I have earned every bubble of it. I thought it might be good today because I've had no energy really for filming anything else and I've really wanted to catch up a bit with any questions that I've got so I thought we'd have to just sit today and have a bit of a chat so I've put on the pink sparkly lights behind me. We bought these from Amazon really cheap and cheerful uh, for Phoebe's 13th birthday party and put them up for that in November or maybe her party was in uh, December and we just like them so much they've stayed up. <laughs> I need to sort of permanently attach them so they look a bit better at the top. But they're on a kind of bendy wire so you can kind of curl them and make them go higher up when you want to. And they're just really pretty so I've just left them. It makes a nice background doesn't it for post birthday chat. So I've got all the comments open up in front of me and I'm just gonna search questions. I think that's probably uh, Best way to do it contains questions. There we go. And I'm just going to go from the top down until it looks like I've reached to where I've already been to. So um, this relies on YouTube Studio uh, recognizing when a question has been asked. So sometimes, you know, it might not work, but hopefully it will pick up everyone's questions. So let's start with Caroline Magruder. Loved the ride into work. Oh, that's, this is from day five on Friday. Uh, Dan's quite the disco dancer. He really is. He's got some moves, Dan. I'll have to try and capture them at some point. I've been meaning to ask for some time now, how do you eat just one biscuit or one cracker? It, it feels like incredible restraint on your part. So um, this, is in this is referring to the fact that one of my favourite nighttime drinks is a hot milk. Just realise I've got icing from yesterday on the lens, one second. Hopefully it wasn't causing a smudge on the screen, but I've, I've got rid of it. Uh, so when I have my hot milk and my favorite type of biscuit, which has got caramel on it, on it it's quite, um, it's very sweet and quite sickly. And I only have one because I normally have it quite late in the evening. It's the last thing I would have to eat or drink before bed. So talking about 9.30 maybe. And I don't want anything else at that time of night. It would just, you know, too much sugar, 
too much chocolate is not a good idea but if I was having a cup of tea mid-morning I'd probably have a couple of biscuits and I definitely never only have one cracker it's just like I don't always if I'm filming what I'm eating I won't always like film that I have one cracker and then come back five minutes later and have another cracker and then come back again and have one so I guess it's just the way things seem sometimes also I just I don't have a massively sweet tooth um I'd always probably rather have something savory than sweet um so I don't I like to have a biscuit with a cup of tea but I don't really crave having lots of it I do like chocolate though Hazel Dazzle, that's a good username. Hope you're having a lovely weekend. Please, could you tell me the song you played on your way to work? Okay, so that's on day five. Let's have a listen to it. I should write these things down. You're getting in at the petrol station. Oh, right, okay. So that is called Sweet Baby. It is by Bothnia featuring Cody Francis and you would have heard both the instrumental version and the version with the vocals as well yeah I really like that one um I don't um I'm quite fussy about choosing songs that have singing in them because I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but they are my cup of tea and I do like to include them every now and then and sometimes I'll do a bit of the instrumental and a bit of both so I'm glad you liked it I get all of my music by the way on Epidemic Sound I pay a subscription for both of my channels and therefore I'm allowed to use the music, but um, I, I, yeah, I'm essentially paying for the license to use the music. However, a lot of the songs I use, you can find on Spotify or Apple Music. So if you search up Sweet Baby by Bothnia featuring Cody Francis, you should be able to find it. I'm glad you liked it. Catherine reads, where is your lovely mushroom PJ top from? Ah, I think you're not the only person who asked this question. This is it's the one I'm wearing right now this one so I'm I'm sorry to tell you this but it's actually from the um, terrible fast fashion company Sheen I didn't buy it um, I, I'm really not into fast fashion I think Lilia bought it a couple of years ago she was getting rid of it and most of the t-shirts that I wear, wear as pajamas I've either had for at least the last 8 to 15 years or I take from the girls when they're getting rid of them um, and it just so happens that I really liked this one um, because it's got the, the the moon cycles and the mushrooms on it. I just really liked it. And it's really, I know, it's really nice quality. Uh, so I like wearing it. It's nice and baggy and comfortable. Um, I think I offset it. So uh, first of all, I didn't buy it. And we talk a lot about fast fashion with the girls. And uh, most of the things that I own, my clothes, I've had for a long, long time. I do not shop often for clothes. And a lot of the stuff that Lilia wears is actually stuff that was either mine from the 90s or the early 2000s, or stuff that I still have that was my mum's and my dad's in the 60s and 70s. So we really do hold on to good quality pieces that last. The other day, Lilia was out when we went to into London to see everybody's talking about Jamie. She was wearing an outfit which was a dress that was mine in the 90s that I had in the 90s or the early 2000s and over the top of it she was wearing a Levi's denim shirt which was my dad's in the 1970s it's really quite a fitted one um, so yeah we do yeah I don't appreciate fast fashion but that's the story behind why I've got a top from Sheen and I do really like it. Maxine Robson how funny, I've never heard anyone else saying how much they enjoyed the film duets. I listened to the soundtrack on repeat. Oh my goodness, me too. So good. Paul, what's his name? <laughs> Paul, G G oh, I've forgotten it already. I only put it on the screen the other day. Gamaldi, Gamanti. Um, plays a great role in the film The Holdovers. I don't think I've seen that. Strong recommend. Well, in that case, I'm going to look that up. Also, can I just say how utterly delightful it is to find that you're posting every day, Nate? Well, thank you, Maxine. That's really nice of you. And thank you for the film recommendation. Yeah, duets I spoke about the other day because I was talking about Andre Brower. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm saying his surname right, who played Captain Holt um, in uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He was just a fantastic actor and he, he died, was it this year or late last year? And he was just, yeah gone way way too soon and he was a great talent and in the film duets he plays a convict it's a very um funny but touching film 
and there's a version of the song Free Bird at the end. Um, he doesn't sing it, he, he mimes it, um, but it's amazing. It's amazing. I love that film so much. And yeah, I've got, I, I often listen to the soundtrack still. Gwyneth Paltrow sings in it as well. Uh, Wendy loves books. Hi, Wendy. Um, I love seeing the drive to work. The owl picture is beautiful. I love it. Oh, Dan, you have some moves, especially with all the lights flashing around you. You're going you're to give him, you're, you're going to encourage him. Uh, Ali, I love the t-shirt with the mushrooms on it. Where did you get it? I've just answered that. Uh, and the statue of the man with his mouth open was a bit creepy. Hope you enjoyed Prosecco and the pizza. Looked yum. I might have to read this series by Alison Weir. Thank you, Wendy. Um, yes, I've answered that t-shirt question. And the statue, uh, yeah, is actually over over 350 years old and is in the um, foyer of the museum. Shetland Lace. Oh, hello. <laughs> I see Shetland Lace come up a lot. It's so nice when I see your username. So familiar with putting something in the wrong place and worrying until I find it. If I remember right, Catherine is... Oh, oh no, it's a question about the Tudors. Catherine of Aragon was Mary, Queen of Scots' mother. Anne Boleyn was Elizabeth I's mother, who was the prince's mother. I read all about Henry VIII and Queen Elizabeth when I was in junior high. <laughs> oh dear, I'm the wrong person to ask, even though I'm listening to books about it. Someone else has replied. Why can't I see it? Ah, oh, no, YouTube's being funny, so I can't see the reply. I'm sure when people watch this video that they will leave the answers underneath. I honestly couldn't tell you. So yes, Catherine of Aragon had a child called Mary. I'm not sure that that was the Mary that became Mary, Queen of Scots. So uh, I think that might have been a later Mary. And I know that Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn did have a daughter called Elizabeth. Um, but I'm not sure whether she went on to become Elizabeth I. I will know because I'll learn more as I li listen to the series, but I can't answer that question. Debbie Stuckey. Hi, Debbie. Um, happy birthday to your lovely mum on Sunday. That's today. So thank you very much. Is she in the process of knitting anything? Does she crochet? No, she does not crochet. She is always asking me to teach her. She does have um, uh, arthritis in her fingers, uh, but she thinks she'd be fine with it. And I keep saying I will teach her and I haven't yet because I'm a terrible daughter. Sorry, mum. Uh, she is in the process of knitting things, but I don't know what. So maybe I'll get her to come on later in the month and tell us what she's knitting. Nadine Augustine, from that tiny snippet of your audiobook you shared, it seems that you read or listen at normal speed. That made me happy. Why? I'm sort of leery, leery of people, leery of people. What does that mean? Does that mean wary, leery of people who listen at chipmunk speed? <laughs> I don't know why, but I am. Metallica, not a fan. That was the song of the day, chosen by Dan. Me neither, Nadine, me neither. But I totally appreciate people who have very tasty music and, uh, music and songs. Yeah, my dad always used to say that if he, if he didn't, um, he had a really very tasty music like I do, but he said if there was ever music that he didn't like, he always assumed that was his loss and nobody else's because if people enjoy that music and you don't, then you're missing out. And that's what I always think about anything really um, in terms of entertainment, films, music, books. If I don't enjoy it and other people do, that's entirely my problem because it means I, there's something I am missing, which means I am missing out on that enjoyment. And there, it's not ever a slight on anybody else's tastes or anything like that. It just means that I'm unlucky enough not to get it. And sometimes my tastes change as well. So, But yeah, I do agree with Metallica not a big fan and we do listen to it in the car quite often when Dan's choosing the music. <laughs> Stephen R. Have a great party tomorrow, thank you. When did you say your birthday was, Ali? Oh, my birthday is this month and it's on the 19th, which is a Friday this year and I've taken it off work. And as I do every year, we're probably gonna be going on a walk um, by the coast if the weather permits. Uh, that's what I like to do. But the good thing is all the other birthdays are over with now. Dan's is done, Lilia's is done, my mum's is done. And I don't have to plan my own birthday or wrap anything. <laughs> jo, Jo P, who I'm forever grateful to because she um, introduced me to Booktube and specifically what Victoria read, who has a new video out today. I'm very excited about it. And at some point this week, who knows when, I'm going to find a quiet time to sit down and watch it without being disturbed. Uh, 
have a great party to, oh no hang on that's the wrong comment sorry great vlog thank you joe fantastic music choice dan will we have some more book content during this month yes i'm going i want to give you um a reading update on where i am what i've read since i last spoke about it about a month or so ago uh, what i've finished reading what i finished listening to um and what's on my sort of to, tbr my to be read pile so yes definitely thanks for asking Crafting with Laura. Crafting with Laura. I've never ever tried ramen. Am I missing out? Can someone recommend me a recipe, please? Um, yes, you're missing out. I would say I, I love the flavours of ramen. That's so umami. That kind of savoury taste that hits the back of your taste buds here. It's it's just lovely. It's um, yeah something we have nearly every week. If I was to recommend a recipe. I would recommend uh, the ramen recipe that is with the chili tofu recipe in the Guoclan One Vegetarian Fake Away Cookbook. Chinese Vegetarian Chinese Fake Away Cookbook by Guoclan One. I will put a link underneath to that book. Uh, but originally I got it out of the library and I made so many things from it and loved it so much that I bought myself a copy. Uh, but the ramen um, recipe that's within that recipe for the chilli tofu, that whole recipe is lovely, but we often make the ramen and have that with uh, chicken or salmon or some other protein instead of the tofu. And it's just a gorgeous base and it's really, really simple and lovely. Debbie Raby. Debbie Rabby. Uh, both of my felines, Maud and Ethel, great names, were enjoying Mia as your video began. Is it pronounced Nike in the UK? Here we say Nike. I drove past their headquarters yesterday. That's quite exciting, living near their headquarters. I don't know. I've always said Nike. I've heard people say Nike. I think, I think quite often, I mean, I haven't heard anyone down here where we are in Kent use Nike. They say Nike. But it could be different in other regions. I don't know. I, I would say probably Nike is more common. But then we all know that my um, pronunciation of things is not always entirely accurate. <laughs> uh, Pamela. Oh, Pamela, I see your name all the time, but I can't pronounce your surname. Geo, Geo Keegan. Uh, like a previous viewer, I thought you were going to scold yourself with your tea. Yes, tea gate. So many comments about the tea. Really, really made us all laugh. Thank you for that. When I watched, I didn't. I don't know, it must have just come across like that on the camera because when I was holding it, it really wasn't that full and I never I never felt like I was going to spill it, but it's so funny that it was making you all nervous. But no, I, would, I wouldn't I wouldn't spill a drop of my precious Yorkshire tea. So sorry to hear about wee cloud, but at least she didn't seem to suffer. Do you think you will get another chicken? Not at the moment, no, because we're a bit wary about integrating one into the with the other two and when we get more chickens, we prefer to get... Um, X battery hens. We didn't get X battery hens this time because we had no idea what we were doing with looking after chickens and what to expect. So we just got ones that we know um, didn't come with a whole host of problems that we wouldn't understand or know how to deal with. But now we understand chickens. Next time we get more, we would like to get rescue chickens. Penny Spearing. Not a boring vlog at all, thank you Penny, oh, you're always so lovely. It's life and enjoyable as always. How is your bed table by the way? My bed ta table is epic, I love it so much. So many of you said, I said I was a bit dodgy about the um, colour of it, but I've got used to it and quite a few of you said I could put stickers on it and I, I quite like that idea, like laptop stickers. That's a good idea, but I'm loving it. I could just stay in my bed all day, every day. Is that light flickering on me, behind me? Well, I hope that's not too annoying. Oh, I like this next question. I was talking about wild garlic on day one. Can you transplant some of the wild garlic to your own garden or perhaps you enjoy the anticipation and discovery it when it appears on your walk in spring? I understand that. By the way, I like your floofy hair. You'll be enjoying this then, CJ. Um, happy April, happy spring. Happy April and happy spring to you too. Um, we, you're not allowed to, although you're allowed to forage for wild garlic, um, here in, the, the, in Britain at least, um, you, it's, it's perfectly fine to forage for it and take as much as you need for your own personal use. You can't take it for commercial use or anything like that. But you, you, you can only pick it, uh, you can't uproot it. So you, you, sh you wouldn't be able to uproot it from the bulb, from the ground, You're not, that's not okay. However, let me show you something. 
courtesy of my mum. I can't pick the pots out because they're um, cardboard pots to go straight in the ground. But this here is wild garlic. It doesn't smell very garlicky. Hang on a minute. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I love wild garlic. Let me put this back by the door. I'm not everywhere now. So that is, my mum bought that round um, earlier before we went out for lunch. When we went out uh, a, about a week or so ago, we went, we went to a garden centre, not a garden centre, a plant nursery near where she lives, uh, which is on a farm, and they had cultivated wild garlic from um, grown from seed and had potted them all out and were selling the seedlings. So she got a tray of, I think, six, um, and she's given me three or four of them. And I've got a few areas in my garden that have the perfect conditions for wild garlic. And I love it so much, I love the smell of it, and I use it, and it, I know that it spreads and everything, and it's, but it's also something that's dying out. So I, yeah, I, I can't, that's gonna be really good. I'm looking forward to seeing how successful that is in my garden. I feel like I'm really rattling on really fast. Oh, enjoyable vlog so far. I have a question, what job does Dan do? Right, that is from a Wheelie Good Travels with Mark. Okay, thanks Mark. I'm gonna get Dan to answer this. Dan, yeah. you can come and answer a question on the blog. <laughs> People are saying you've got good moves. Damn right, I've got good moves. Yeah, and also they appreciated your metal. Do you wanna sit uh, here? Yeah, sorry. Hang on. <coughs> Where am I gonna go? I'm just sit on the back. Sit on my back. Okay. <laughs> um, Mark has said, uh, what job does Dan do? Okay, so I work um, for uh, a local authority council uh, in London and I work in HR and I'm head of talent. Well done. You've managed to say that without mentioning anything really boring. Well, it was all very boring. <laughs> <laughs> I still answered the question. That's what he does. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, here you go. Dan's pooped. He got up this morning at eight. Uh, we, we didn't get to bed till one last night. And he got up at 6.30. I got up at 6.30, but went back to sleep until eight. But he did not. Are you eating? Still like a packet of crisps. How can you even think about food? I'm still like full up of chicken skewers. I need some fizzy drink in a minute. There's non-alcoholic. I have a fizzy drink. I know it looks like I've really guzzled this. This is a small goth. It's 125 mils. <laughs> Big busy bunny. Great, some just great username. Have you read Wicked Wonderland by Eva Chase? I read three part audiobooks. Prepare yourself. Oh, straight to Everand we go. Okay, I've just read the synopsis of the first book of Wicked Wonderland. <laughs> I can see why you've said prepare yourself contains mature themes. <laughs> Thank you for the recommend recommendation, big busy buddy. Uh, how do you film yourself? This is Janice McCulloch. Hi Janice. Um, how do you film yourself walking away from the camera on your walks? I pop the camera down, usually on a fence post or lean it up against, I don't know, a stick or something. Make sure there's no one else around. And I keep walking. And then after about five seconds, I turn around and I come back and I pick up the camera. <laughs> as long as no one notices, I don't look completely nuts. And uh, yeah, I only do it if it's sort of safe to do so and I know someone's not around to nick the camera. And sometimes if I've got someone with me, they can hold it, but that's very rare. I film most of the things by myself. Bonnie Albright, happy belated to Lilia. Thank you very much. Looked like everyone had a good time. I've heard you mention in the past that Dan likes to do Lego projects. What kind does he do? I've recently started doing them and I love it. Oh look, you've just, he's just, uh, like he's manifested as I mentioned Lego. What kind of Lego projects do you do? Okay, so my absolute favourite is Star Wars Lego. I see followed by Lego Batman. You smell of cheese and onion crisps. Because I've just eaten cheese and onion crisps. Uh, and then I like um, Lego Technic as well. Um, so I've got a big... Um, I've got a forklift truck, a car. What's the thing you got for your birthday with your birthday money? That was pretty cool, that spaceship thing. Spaceship, yeah, it's new Lego Technic Space Lego. Like they used to do cool. in the 80s. Yes. yes. 
Yeah, so, you like you yeah, you like the Star Wars Lego, but that's just to me the Star Wars Lego is just a lot of grey bricks. Some of it's black. Yes, or white. Mm -hmm. There's very, sometimes a control or something. Yes. And stickers. Yes. Yeah. So Stephen Cynthia's <coughs> Stephen 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 Cynthia Sherry. Ali, it's so good to be with you again. Have you done any sketchbook pages? Lately, I love your inspiration or artistry. I have not done anything other than doodling lately. Um, I, I need to, I, my, my favorite thing is, so if you haven't seen me um, filming the things I draw, um, I like to draw everything. I like to do sort of sketch journals of my day or certain like holidays, vacations. Um, but I really love drawing buildings. And I, life has just not permitted that time at the moment um, to do it. But my making vibes go in fits and starts. Sometimes I'm more into crochet and knitting. Sometimes I'm more into drawing or cross stitch and so, and so on. So I haven't done anything to share recently. Um, not really, other than the doodling that I showed the other day. Miss Linda E1. If you don't mind me asking, what is it you spread on your bread? Oh... Was that on day, oh, on day two, I know what that would have been. That would have been Brussels pate, because we had had that on Lilia's birthday on Easter Sunday. So I think in that video, I was spreading Brussels pate on my um, smooth. smooth Brussels pate, which we don't often get, because it's so bad for you. But um, it's really, really nice. Oh, Paula Reed. I'm sure you've been tagged on Instagram. I have, but on the same day that you left this message, but did you know Skeen and the Stitch are doing an Alice in Wonderland themed advent this year? I do know that. It's coming out later this month. I have set a reminder. I don't know if I'm going to get it um, because a, a yarn advent, if you don't know, it is, well, there's different types. You can pay for, you, you pay, you, you buy it now because it takes a while for them to get it all ready and dyed up. And you usually get it around October, November time. And you get 24 mini skeins of yarn over the month of December. And then you can choose to have a main skein for Christmas Day. Or often dyers will do a four week one where you have a, a full skein to open every Sunday. So there's different ways to do it. And a lot of people offer different payment options. So you can pay up front or you can do it in installments. So the Alice in Wonderland one by Skein in the Stitch looked wonderful. I've got a few reminders set for different dyers advents this year. But I actually just went rogue and bought one the other day because it just, the colours and the mood boards that they released just looked perfect. And I also know that this person's yarn is yarn that I absolutely love. I'm always drawn to their stall at yarn festivals. Uh, and that is the advent, the Apoca 3 themed advent by Blue Fern Yarns, lovely Shannon at Blue Fern Yarns. So I have signed up for that and I think I actually went for the Yak base as something a bit different as well, which will make the colours even more rich and dark. I am very excited about it. I'm so happy that I've done that. I've also got the Green Lampkin Yarns Advent, which I purchase every year. And again, I pay for that over the course of the year. But what she does is you pay for it each month Oh no, is it each month? Yeah, each month, and each month you get three um, skeins. So by the time you get to the end of November, you've got all the skeins you need to make your advent. I think that's right. I've do, I do it every year and I always love it. Olivia R, it's always a delight spending time with you and your family. Oh, thank you, that's so nice. I'm inspired and have gotten into walking myself. Happy 18th to Lilia. April is my birthday month, is it yours as well, Ali? It is, so happy birthday month, Olivia, and happy birthday to everyone who are April babies, all the other Aries. Um, yeah, it's my birthday as well. How can you and Dan be old enough to have 18 year old? <laughs> oh, we feel every bit old enough to have an 18 year old, believe me. <laughs> I was 29 when I had Lillian. So when she turns 21, I'll turn 50. That's absolutely terrifying to think about, isn't it? And that's it. I think that's gonna turn out to be quite a long and chatty and nonsensical vlog. It just got darker when I shut my laptop, didn't it? Um, but 
yeah, I just wanted to answer some questions. If you have any questions, please feel free. If there's something you want me to sort of answer, if you ask and include... Did I say this? I feel like I'm a peak mark. Did I say this already earlier in the month? I think I did, didn't I? If you ask a question, make sure you include a question mark and it should pick it up as a question and I'll be able to answer it. There we go. Right, one more thing before I go. I opened day four of my birthday advent for my lovely, gorgeous friend Dominique and in it was a spoon. I guess it's like a dessert spoon that you would use or, or, or like a chai latte spoon for when you have a tall uh, glass or ice cream. But I think I'm going to try and display it because look what it says. Can you read, can you see it? Drink tea, read books, be happy. I mean, is there better life advice than that? And with it, there was this sticker, which I'm going to put on my laptop. Mm -hmm. Love it. Thank you, Dominique. I'm going to go and open my next I haven't opened it in a couple of days so I'm going to go and do that thank you for listening to my question answering sorry it was a bit of a different format today um just life there wasn't much else happening today other than eating a lot of food and feeling tired and I'll see you tomorrow for our trip to London bye